third person point of view, uh, Precious, based on the novel by Sapphire? Yeah. Fan based on the novel Push by Sapphire. Yes. Fantastic. It's uh, a movie set in Harlem in 1987. It's a story of Clar Clarice Precious Jones, a 16 year old African American girl born into a life no one would want. She's pregnant for the second time. Yeah. That's basically where the story picks up. Man, I think everybody knows somebody like this. <laughs> yeah. And if you don't, then you should go out and meet them. I grew up with neighbors that were like this. Yeah. You know? I think I've been some of these people too. Yeah. <laughs> but, wow, what a great movie. That is, most, that is my favorite movie of the year. My favorite movie of the last two years. If you'd have to go back to Juno and there will be blindness. Oh my god, if, the, if I think about it, it's probably my favorite movie in the last. Well, I don't know. Blindness was my favorite. Yeah, Blindness was good last year. That was one of my favorite movies of the last year, but it doesn't hold up to this. Precious is just far beyond that. No, it's too good. Yeah. Amazing. Everyone's performance was good, even Mariah Carey. Yeah. You know, and I didn't expect Mariah Carey to be good. I like, I like her. I like her performance. And I didn't know that it was, um, Lenny Kravitz. No, a lot of that uh, cast surprised me. Yeah, I had, and even when it was uh, he was there, he was really, yeah. like, I've never seen Lenny Kravitz act before. I, I remember looking at the credits and knowing he was in it, and when he showed up, I, it wasn't until like I was, the movie was over, and it was like 10 minutes past, and I was like, oh, that had to be Lenny Kravitz. Yeah, I know, he I did, remember when you did that, and then I was like, yes, you're right, because where else would he be? Yeah, I just and, got lost in how good the movie was. It was so good. And just like, and Monique too, like I didn't really know who Monique was, no. and I'd never seen her act before. You're Monique Grant. I know. Well, I thought... <laughs> you feel like you've said this like ten times? Well, I have to always tell people this, because they don't understand, because everyone knows who she is, but like for some reason in my life, I never got to know who she was, yeah. and... Yeah, I hadn't seen her much, either. And then after I saw the movie, I looked up some stuff on her on YouTube, and I like, just like watched her, and I just, oh my god, like it's a transformation from what I see yeah. of her. It's amazing. One of the best performances. There's a lot of great performances yeah. in there. It's it's a film that I want everybody to see, and I've seen it with uh, a few people for the first time. They've seen it, and this is a movie I want to pass around and have everybody see. It's a great film. It's got some style to it, and it's gritty, and it's... The editing's good in it, I think. It has a really good flow yeah. to the story yeah. and everything. You, and you're never really lost. There's never points in it where you're going, huh, what's going on? And it's not absolutely like uh, like a straight down like it's not like she's spiraling out of control down. There's there's moments where she has some happiness and cute things happen. She goes through growing up a bit, but then there's the, you know the major tragedies and all like the terrible things that happen to her. Yeah, and it keeps just it keeps you on the edge of your seat the whole time. There's yeah. not one moment where you. It's like you don't want to see what happens because it, everything is tragic, but then when it does happen, her character really just kind of makes you go, well, at least, you know, at least she's still going. Yeah. I like the authenticity of like a story like that. Because it, it happens all the time. This could happen to any person in the United States, regardless of race. Yeah, regardless of anything. Regardless, I mean, she could have been... She could have been, you know, a hoity-toity beauty queen pageant, yeah. still being abused and, and whatnot, going through the sort of same things and being missed through the cracks. I mean, I think that was what one of the biggest things that impressed me about it was it was a story about how someone basically slipped through the cracks of, of, the, system. of the system. And it really looked at how the system wasn't helpful. No, no, that's, it certainly showed how, uh, how the system could be cheated and more specifically how the people that need it can be cheated out of it. Yeah, exactly. So I was really impressed with that just because it, to me it was just more realistic and to be able to make it still interesting and not just, you know, I'm not just watching the real world or something like yeah, or that. just a straight tearjerker. Mm -hmm. Where it gets to the point where oh, I think a lot of problems people are going to have with this is that they're not going to want to watch it again. Again, It's going to be something like, oh, it's amazing to watch it, but yeah, it's like something they're not going to be able to yeah. go through again, like Wrecking for a Dream or Hotel Rwanda. It's just going to be one of those movies that's great and people may want to watch it once, but it might be too hard for them to want to watch it again. Yeah, it's too definitely, real. it's definitely real. 
the lead actress. I don't know if I've said this enough in any other review that we've <laughs> done, but she should probably uh, win Best Lead um, for, in the Oscars. It's nominated for six Oscars. And, and that should win three. every single one of them. I don't care. I'm sorry, all you Avatar lovers, but no. Precious should win. I think it will win three, and it's a Give really some, deserving movie. Ugh, love it.